set of videos, we're going to talk about multivariable linear systems and row operations. Now, the first part, we're actually going to solve this by substitution. Let's talk about a triangular form for linear systems. Now, the method of elimination used in section 7.1 can be extended to systems of linear first degree equations in more than two variables. The goal of elimination method is to rewrite the system as an equivalent system of equations whose solution is obvious. Two systems of equations are equivalent if they have the same solution. Now, a triangular form of system is an equivalent form from which the solution is easy to read. Here's an example of a system in triangular form. So if x minus 2y plus z equals 7, y minus 2z equals negative 7, and z equals 3. This convenient triangular form allows us to solve the system using substitution as illustrated in example 1. So it's actually not too bad. Here's what we're going to do. Because we're already given that z is equal to 3, we're going to put that 3 into the second equation and solve it for y. So if y minus 6 equals negative 7, which means y will equal negative 1. So now that we have a value for y, we have a value for z, we can plug that into the first equation to solve for x. So really, well, x plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 7. x plus 5 is equal to 7, which means x will equal 2. So my answer, then, is going to be the order triple, because there's three numbers, 2, negative 1, and 3. Now, they're not always going to be nice numbers like this. Sometimes you will have fractions, as we'll see in example B. Now, again, z does equal negative 2, so I can plug that into the second equation to solve for y. So 2y minus 6 equals 1, which means 2y will equal 7, which means y will equal 7 halves. So since we have both of those, we can plug that into the first equation, x minus 3 times 7 halves minus 2 equals 0. So when you solve both x minus 21 half minus 2, which is really 4 halves, that equals 0, which means x, will e or x minus 25 over 2, when you combine those fractions, equals 0, which means x will be 25 over 2. So there's our solutions for x, y, and z. Now let's put it in order, triple form. So there's our solution for example B. Moving on to Gaussian elimination. Now, transforming a system to triangular form is Gaussian elimination, named after the German mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss. Here are the operations needed to transform a system of linear equations into triangular form. You're going to interchange any two equations of the system, which means you can switch their position, multiply or divide one of the equations by any non-zero real number, and a multiple of one equation to another equation in the system. You'll see how this all works out in example two. Now you're going to need a little bit of room here. I'm not sure if I gave you enough on your note packet or not, but another sheet might be helpful so you can spread out all of your work. So what we're going to do here, we're going to multiply the top equation by negative three and add it to the second equation. So really, I'm going to have negative 3x plus 6y minus 3z equals negative 21, and 3x minus 5y plus z equals 14. When you add down, your x's will cancel out. We'll have y minus 2z equals negative 7. So really, we're going to, this will be your new second equation. Now we're going to do the same thing with the third equation and the first equation. 
So I can multiply the top equation by negative 2 and add it to the second, or add it to the third equation. So I have negative 2x plus 4y minus 2z equals negative 14. And 2x minus 2y minus z equals 3. So I'm going to add down here, which means the x's will go away. I'll have 2y minus 3z equals negative 11. So this then is my third equation. So now when we have our second and third equation, I can put this, the second and third equation together. And now we're back into an elimination method. Well, if I multiply my top equation then, which is the new second equation, by negative 2, I'll have a negative 2y plus 4z equals 14. And the third equation will go underneath it. We're going to add down. You'll see that the y's will go away. I'll end up with z is equal to 3. So once we get z is equal to 3, we can plug that into either the second or third equation to get an answer here. So let's plug it into the second or the third equation here. So I have 2y minus 3 times 3 equals negative 11, which means 2y minus 9 equals negative 11, which will simplify to 2y equals negative 2, which means y will equal negative 1. So now we have a value for y and z. What we can do then, we can put both y and z into our first equation. x minus 2y plus z equals 7. So when you simplify, we'll have x plus 2 plus 3 equals 7, which means x will equal 2. So our ordered triple then will be 2, negative 1, and 3. Now that should look familiar to you. That's our example 1a right there. That's our solution. It's going to take some time, so don't worry if you don't get it right away. Watch the video a couple times if you need to to understand really what we're doing. Now, in example B, again, we're going to get rid of x first in the first two equations here. So I'm going to multiply my top equation by negative 2, which is on negative 2x plus 2y minus 2z equals 0, and 2x minus, sorry, plus 0y minus 3z equals negative 1. Adding down, our x's go away, uh, 2y minus 5z equals negative 1. Now we're going to do the same thing, but with our first and third equation, because the x's are opposite already, we can just rewrite them the way they are. Now again, you do need to be careful of your signs here so you don't mess those up because one wrong sign will change the value of the equation. So now this is what we have for example B. If you notice we have 2y minus 5z equals negative 1 and negative 2y plus 3z equals negative 1. So what I'm going to do, here's my new system right here. Now if we add these down, you should see y's will drop out. I'll have negative 2z is equal to negative 2, which means z is equal to 1. So since we got z is equal to 1, let's put it in either equation. Let's put it in the top one here. 2y minus 5 times 1 equals negative 1, which means 2y minus 5 equals negative 1. And 5 to both sides we'll have here. y will then equal 2. So now we have y is equal to 2, z is equal to 1. Plug it into our first equation x minus 2 plus 1 equals 0, which means x minus 1 equals 0, x equals 1. So my order triple will be 1, 2, 
one. There is my answer. Now, if you look back to examples one and two, they came up with solutions to these systems equations. Now, you're not always going to get solutions to the system equations, as we'll see in example three. So if we look at our first two equations, you'll notice that we have an x and a negative x. So we can cross those out pretty quick. So let's rewrite the system of the first two equations. And we're going to add down. You can see the x's will go away. We'll have a negative y minus 4z equals 7. Now, to do the first and third equation, to get rid of the x's, you have to multiply the top equation by negative 5 and rewrite that equation. And then rewrite the third equation. So you add these two equations out. X's again will cancel out. We'll have 2y plus 8z equals negative 12. Now with our new second and new third, you, can, you should notice that if we multiply the new second equation, which is the negative y minus 4z equals 7, by 2, we'll end up canceling out the y. So let's do that. Negative 2y minus 8z equals 14, and I'll rewrite the new third equation underneath it here. So you'll notice then when we add down, the y's will go away, the z's will go away, so we'll go zero on this side, 14 plus negative 12 is 2. This is a false statement, so there are no solutions. Now moving on to example B, we're going to do pretty much the same thing here. So let's get rid of the x's in the first equation. So I'll multiply the x's by negative 4, the top equation by negative 4. So negative 4x minus 4y minus 4z equals 12 and 4x minus y plus 0z equals negative 5. Now it's important to add the 0z zero zero there because you need to know that nothing's there. So when you add down, you'll know what to add together. x will go away. Negative 5y minus 4z equals 7. Now getting rid of the first and third equation, getting rid of the x's, I'll multiply the top equation by 3. 3x plus 3y plus 3z equals negative 9. And then negative 3x plus 2y plus z equals 4. You'll notice that when you add down, x's will go away. 5y plus 4z equals 5. Now you should notice in my new second equation, which is in black here, and my new third equation, the y's and z's will cancel out. Well, let's just show it by rewriting. So when you add down, y's will go away, z's will go away, I have 0 equals 12. Well, sorry, it should be, it should be a negative 5 here, so 0 will equal 2, because this should be negative 5, I forgot a sign. This is a false statement. So therefore, there are no solutions. Just like we had in example 3a, but again, same type of thing. 